Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how to make a Canva app using Thunkable. So let's start. So for creating a new app in Thunkable, you have to click on this button and let's uh, give a project name here, camera and click on create. So let's just start working on the screen. So first of all, very very firstly let's first just uh, set the color of background color to be blue it's my choice you can take any other color after that i want three visible components that is the button and after button i need the label and after label i need an image so you can directly click add component and search for the component that you want and here is the image but i want the image between the label and the button so i will just simply over here i will just drag and drop down or upwards so that's done after that we are going to add an invisible component that will be the working component over here that's the camera so let's add the camera so here is the camera component invisible component here so let's just a uh, little bit work and modify these visible components so in the button i want the text written should be take photo and the background color of this button should be red and uh, that's okay after that i will go to the label and in the label i will write take a photo same take a photo great but i want the font size to be 30 color to be black and the font weight to be bold uh, no it's okay 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 then i want it to be in the center and that's done with the label and done with the button let's go to the image i want the height to be 300 and the width so i have firstly gone to the absolute size and then i'm writing 250 250 now i want a space between these components so i will add the margin from the top 20 and from the bottom 20 and that's done our designing is completed let's move on to the blocks in the blocks we'll first one click on the button one so when button one is clicked in the camera call photo with output photo this user cancel error then do what it will do after that is uh, let's drag and drop this this is the control if if after this if then let's go to the logic let's uh, give a logic over here if not did user cancel that means if the user did not cancel it then after that we will take one more control over here if do else if error and then from label and uh, in these two will add a label and an image so from label if it, it takes so from label set text to and from image if it takes so from image set text to so for label it should show the error and for the image it should show the photo and that completes our block so let's just say when button one clicked in camera one call take photo with photo and if not from the label and from the image he will show uh, the computer will show this and this so blocking is done designing is done what is left just to live test it so let's just preview it or live test it so here we are this uh, this will show the live test okay so when i will click on the take photo my what my pc will do is from the 
webcam it will take the photo so right now i want the photo of my book so i will just i'm going to keep my book in the front of the webcam and i will click on the take photo and same it does in an android phone same it will do so let's just test it here you can see it has taken the photo might it will not be a little bit clear because i have not adjusted it at all so this is how your camera app will work and if you want again that your um, that you want one more photo so again click on take photo and see again next photo has come this is how you can make it so it's very easy there is no complication in it so make your own app and do like subscribe and share this video thank you for watching